Hello, my name is Nicola and I'm one of the dietitians on the Celiac UK helpline. Today we're going to talk a little bit about celiac disease. So one in a hundred people have celiac disease in the UK. But we know that only 30% of people with celiac disease are diagnosed. So there are many people who have symptoms but remain undiagnosed. Twice as many women as men have celiac disease. And we know that risk increases to one in 10 among people with a first degree relative. So those with a parent, sibling or child with celiac disease. So what is celiac disease? Celiac disease is a lifelong autoimmune disease. It's not an allergy or intolerance. In celiac disease, the body attacks its own tissues when you eat gluten and this damages the lining of the gut. Along the lining of the gut, we have villi, which are finger-like projections. When somebody with celiac disease eats gluten, this causes the villi to become shortened or eroded away completely. Your body can react to tiny amounts of gluten. Antibodies are part of the immune system. They normally react to bacteria and viruses and help us to fight infection. In celiac disease, antibodies react to gluten and attack the body. Antibodies react to tiny amounts of gluten, so it is really important that you follow a strict gluten-free diet for life. The most common symptoms in celiac disease are gut symptoms, such as wind, bloating, constipation and diarrhoea. Other symptoms include feeling tired all the time, anemia, nausea and vomiting, weight loss, mouth ulcers, and dermatitis herpetiformis. Dermatitis herpetiformis, or DH, is the skin manifestation of celiac disease. It's less common than celiac disease, affecting roughly one in 3,300 people. It commonly occurs on elbows, knees, shoulders, buttocks, and face. Diagnosis for adults. The first step in diagnosis is to talk to your GP, who can arrange for you to have a simple blood test to look for antibodies. If your antibody test is positive, then you'd be referred to a gastroenterologist at the hospital for an endoscopy and biopsy to look for damage to the lining of the gut. Prior to any testing for celiac disease, it is really important that gluten is included in your diet. You need to have some gluten in more than one meal every day for six weeks before testing. As with adults, gluten must be in the diet throughout the testing process. However, for children, an endoscopy and a biopsy to look for the, lining, to look for the damage to the lining of the gut is not always needed. If antibody levels are very high in the first blood test, a second positive blood test can confirm the diagnosis without the need for an endoscopy and a biopsy. The diagnosis should be made by a paediatrician or a paediatric gastroenterologist. So why is a gluten-free diet important? Following a gluten-free diet helps to improve your symptoms. It allows the gut to heal and allows the body to absorb nutrients from food. It also helps to reduce the risk of long-term complications such as osteoporosis, fertility problems, neurological conditions, nutritional deficiencies, and very rare lymphoma and cancer of the small bowel. So what care should you expect once you've been diagnosed? After diagnosis, you should be, you should be able to have an appointment with a dietitian to discuss the gluten-free diet with you. This will be as a one-to-one -one appointment or a group session. And then once you're well established on the gluten-free diet, you should have an annual checkup. This could be either with your GP, a dietitian, a pharmacist, or a gastroenterologist. Vaccinations. The spleen is an important part of the immune system. If it doesn't work properly, it can lead to an increased risk of infection. We know that around 30% of people with celiac disease have reduced spleen function. Therefore, certain vaccinations are recommended. Our Health Advisory Council recommends that people with celiac disease have a pneumococcal vaccination and a booster every five years. 
meningococcal A, C, W and Y should also be given to anyone born between 1995 and 2014. The need for a flu vaccination should be considered by your GP on an individual basis. We know what it takes to live gluten free every day and we're here to support you. From children to adults and those caring for someone living gluten free, our resources will help you every day for every occasion. Our membership features include a welcome pack to help get you started on your gluten free diet, including our printed food and drink guide, which lists thousands of foods suitable for a gluten free diet, our gluten free checklist and our celiac disease fact sheet. We also have our helpline supported by dietitians and food advisors to answer any questions you may have about your diet and health. Our essential food information service lists over 150,000 products suitable for a gluten free diet. You can find out more about joining Celiac UK on our website at www.celiac.org.uk forward slash join. Here you will find information on the different packages that we offer, which start from just £1.25 per month to access exclusive member resources to help you live well gluten free. So in summary, celiac disease is a lifelong autoimmune disease. It affects around one in 100 people in the UK but most are undiagnosed. Diagnosis usually involves endoscopy with biopsy to look at the damage to the lining of the gut. The only treatment for celiac disease is a strict lifelong gluten-free diet. Next, you can watch our presentation on the gluten-free diet.